Hello, Internet. Um, I had a question from Shay Navarro. Um, and I think I, I, I spoke to Shay on the phone um, a year ago or something like that. So hi, Shay. And her question is about factoring. Um, uh, do you have any ideas on how to find a good factoring company? And what's the best uh, options when orders get larger and stores pay net 30? Um, okay, I, I feel like I did a video on this. If I did, I'll, I'll link the card above. Um, but um, it's good to touch on this and sort of update my thoughts on it. Um, when I was in, when I had my brand in 2007, which is quite a while ago, there was only a handful of companies that were doing factoring for apparel. Um, just because they have to know uh, the different retail base. And um, just so, uh, for anyone who doesn't know factoring, Google the term, but basically what it is, is a financial company that will buy out your, your POs, your invoices. So, um, and then they, they keep a percentage of that, right? So they're basically insuring your PO. Um, so if, if a retailer says, we'll buy a thousand dollars worth of product, you sell that PO to a factor and, um, I have no idea what their fees are, but let's, let, for math sake, let's just say it's a hundred bucks of a thousand. Um, and I, I'm just making that number up. But so they'll pay you 900 bucks and then uh, they finish out that transaction. And then the obvious benefit to you is you get liquid money faster. Um, and then the only kind of stipulation with that is the factoring company needs to be able to um, have the retail business have a certain standard, a business standard in, in order to kind of co-sign that invoice um, to know that they have a good credit history and um, good financial standings um, so that they have the ability to factor them and they have a greater odd of of getting uh, the full balance of the payment back. Um, so uh, the challenge with that is a lot of upstart retailers uh, would not be on a factor list uh, because they're too green, they're too new, they have, or they might have a, a, a spotty financial history or, you know, a history where they don't pay and get dinged for it. Um, so that's factoring. Um, so Shay, uh, to answer your question, I don't know as of now, I, I haven't spoken to a lot of companies that factor. Um, the, the brands that I consult with, which are very few, it's like two at the moment as this is post-dating, um, one of them has money. I mean, his dad is heavily rooted in the music industry. Like, like he's, he's made man. So he's, he's good money. Um, and they have access to money. Um, so for uh, the common man's, uh, you know, outlook on factoring, I would Google it, honestly. I would Google factoring for apparel and see what comes up. And I would just I would just ask anybody that might have a factor because I don't know anyone that has it at the moment. So the companies that did it in 2007 might not even offer that or exist now at the moment or might have gotten eaten by a bigger company. Um, um, and as for... So... Um, I would just Google it, um, but the the reason I'm making a video is I also saw an app um, where uh, companies were were starting to innovate um, in terms of factoring. So there's a lot of cooler options now as technology is advancing, uh, where they they gamify it and make it very simple. Um, so again, Google it, see what's out there. There's new companies that are have different approaches to it. And um, as far as the net thirty, I would uh, just say that. Most stores and um, Orisu was like a five million dollar company somewhere along that, and even when I was with Ezekiel back in the day, they were a thirty million dollar company. A lot of your big stores won't. I mean, they're giving you thirty days, and like if you're a new company, they they might give you sixty days. So that's never gonna change. It's never gonna change. Uh, you'd be better off finding a factor, but that's why. I say you have to be able to spend that money, the production money, without having to have that money back for like half a year, something like that, maybe a year, um, uh, just to be safe, uh, because retail is notoriously late in paying. Um, the, the coolest, uh, most marquee shops 
uh, will ragdoll you because they can and you want to be in their shop. Um, so, I mean, yeah. So that's kind of eternal. 30 days net is pretty standard. Hope that helps. Uh, anybody have anything to add to the conversation, please drop it down below. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.